Okay, so in this video, we're going to be looking at the mean and standard deviation. And mostly just looking in terms of what the definitions are, it's a short little example for possibly, and how to get these values on your calculator. So the mean, it's basically the, I'm going to say this wrong, arithmetical average of all the individual values in a set of values. So what does that mean? It means, and we write it like that, let's zoom in a little bit, and it's the sum, this mean, this value means the sum of all the data, data values. Sum means I'm going to add all those up, add all of these oops, numbers, okay, which is what we're doing there. And then we divide it by the total number. So then we'd have to count and go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, which is what they've done there. Now, you can calculate those up, you know, add them all up, as we said there, and divide by 11. Your calculator will do this for you, by the way, but, you know, if it's a simple one, you can also just do it yourself. Um, now, he, he, here's, a, here's a sort of a bit of a key point, a bit of a kicker is that the mean is actually affected by the presence of outliers, okay? Unlike the, the median, not so much. And I'll give you, I'll sort of give you a really simple example here. If I go three plus three, I'm trying to think of a number that's gonna be easy to divide, plus um, three, okay? That was a really bad one. That was a really, really bad one. Um, three plus four plus five. Okay. Divide that by three. That gives us four. Okay. Because three plus four, seven plus five is twelve. Twelve divided by three is four. Okay. Now, now imagine I've had three and I've got an outlier. So imagine my outlier now is so this would be my mean now imagine now my mean is still three plus four plus five but i add 20 on okay so now i'm going to have 12 plus 20 so i'm going to have um that's going to be 32 divided by four so if I go 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 20, they're going to be 32 divided by 4. That's now equal to 8. So these two values, very different. Whereas if you compare just to sort of say medium, why we, you know, we sort of look at where the outlier position is, or what impact it has, that would be my median. And my median here would be 4.5. Now, not the best example I'll give it to you, but can you see that the median doesn't change much, but this is why we say the mean is affected by the presence of outliers, okay? Because that value has made a big difference. I've gone from four to eight compared from four to 4.5, okay? Um, yeah, well, I'm not gonna worry about that last bit there. Standard deviation. So standard deviation um, measures the spread of the distribution around the mean. So it's looking for that variance around the mean. Now, here's your formula. Here's your formula. Here's the value you've got from this set of data here. You could do it at calculation if you really, really, really wanted to. Don't. Um, really don't. Use your calculator. It will do it for you. That's just there to show what the... the um, the equation is the calculator will do all that for you and that's how i want you to do it i don't want to even touch the equation okay it's there to show you all right so it's basically a measure of the spread around the data so you can think of the larger the standard deviation the more spread the more spread that data is about that um that center point that mean center point okay all right so this is where we get to uh, mean and standard deviation. Here's where we've got a set of data, put the data in, 
press follow all instructions here. Um, you're going to follow these instructions and you'll get your, your, um, your stats data. So we're only after that and that. Okay. This is just as to give you a hint. This is also where you get your, um, your five figure summary stuff. Okay. Cause you can scroll down here, but that's how you get your meaning of standard deviation. Those are the, for, in terms of this, what we're looking at here, those are the two things we wanted, we want, okay? We'll go into some more stuff to, related to standard deviation in the following video, but for now, that's it.